The following knot was tied in a sample of Rio's 10-pound steelhead salmon tippet material and tested on our Instron machine to illustrate its relative breaking strength. The turl knot is a knot, quite an old knot, that is designed to attach a fly to a piece of leader or tippet material. It's a knot that's got a particular benefit. It's a knot that I like and use a lot. But uh, before you go over those benefits, let me show you how to tie it. You start off by taking your hook, taking your tippet, and threading it through. And we're using this giant meat hook here just so you can see it, and this bright green 50-pound slick shooter, so it's a very visual way of tying the knot. And then you can see it afterwards in the right fly and tippet material. So once you've threaded it, the first thing to do is thread the fly right out the way. It's got nothing to do with the knot at this stage of the game. You're going to come back to the tag end, and being a right-handed tire, I like to have my tag end pointing to my right, and I have about 8 to 10 inches hanging out from my left hand. And I just fold a little loop round the back of the standing end and pinch it with my left thumb and index finger. I then use my left middle finger to tighten that loop and keep a little tension here. And then this tag end is going to come over the top and then come up from underneath around this right hand leg. Once, twice, three is absolutely plenty. And then you tuck it through going down the loop that where your thumb is to here. And then I just kind of tighten the knot like this, tightening the tag and opening the loop until it gets to a point where it's tight but not closed. And this is the point where you lick it or this is the point where you put your chapstick on and then you just tighten this knot until it is completely sealed and closed like that. Now you've created a slip knot. So once you've got a slip knot, this is the right time to chop your tag off because it's far enough away from the feathers of your fly. So you chop your tag but you'll see why you actually leave a bit of a tag here. There's a reason for that. So there's a bit of a tag here left then, and we're going to come back to the hook that's kind of slipped off, but we'll just put that on here, and we'll slide the hook back to meet the noose. I'm going to strangle it. It's going to go over the back of the hook like this, and come up, and as you tighten it, that noose is going to strangle around the neck of the hook and lock like that. And that is the turl knot. And the reason you can see it kind of it alters the angle. This is why you don't want it on a straight eye hook because your monofoil is coming up out of the eye and it's going to give your fly a very funny set in the water. Let me show you that on one I've tied a little earlier with a steelhead fly, an up eyed steelhead fly. Here it is. And you can see how that monofoil comes straight out of the eye in a nice straight line and it's aligned so that that will fish well in the water. And one of the reasons I like this, particularly over a clinch knot, is that the clinch knot tightens down against the eye, and it's like two links of a chain, and the, the, the knot will slide around and it can jam up against it at one side. So with a clinch knot, you can get your tippet coming out at a funny angle. With a turl knot, you'll always get this true straight pull. So you get a nice swing and a nice, well, presentation of your fly in the water. One of the assets of this fly, uh, of this knot, sorry, is that it's a great knot for particularly for tying on little small flies like this spider here, this soft tackle spider. So you can tie the spider on like that, a little soft tackle. And uh, the turl knot's a great knot for that. It's great on dry flies. It's good on very small flies up to medium sized steelhead flies. And then above that I tend to use the non-slip loop knot. One thing to know about the turl knot is that the turl knot does have this jam, if you like, that's stays in the eye of the fly. So let's say you're fishing away and nothing happens. You don't catch anything. I have no idea what's going on. Blame the fly. So it's not catching anything. You chop the fly off, stick it back in your box, and then next time your fly finds favor or kind of looks like the fly of the day for you, you go to thread the fly on, and what you'll find is that knot is still in the eye, and you'll be just kind of going stab, and I can't get this in. It's pushing because the knot's blocking it. So the reason you left a tag it's very simply, you just grab that tag, pull the knot off, the knot comes off in your hand, throw that knot away, and your fly is now ready to put back in the box for action. So, let me show you how to tie that knot very quickly, because there's a good tip I can give you on uh, this that you couldn't see with that big hook on there. So I'm going to run through this just real fast, tie this on uh, with this bit of 10-pound 
tip material. And this tip is particularly useful because of the feathers. You know, when you fish a fly, it's got feathers. So here we go, we go up and round, middle finger in, one, two, three turns, stick it in through here, tighten the knot, little dab. Yeah, I've tied that so efficiently, I didn't even need to cut the tag off. Slide that back, and it's at this point that the knot becomes perhaps dangerous to your fly. If you were just to thread this noose over the fly and tighten it, you could squash all these feathers and fibers, and they, and they, they all sit out at strange angles, and it just doesn't feel right, the fly. So what I like to do is I like to, before the noose goes over the fly, I like to take my right thumb and index finger, put it through the noose, and just grab all the feathers of the fly, covering them all up. They can't get squashed by the loop that time. And I leave the head and the neck of the fly protruding. And then as I tighten this, what will happen is the noose will slide down this finger and my thumb. And you see, it just jams up on the neck of the fly. So that way, because you've physically trapped the feathers, there's no way that the feathers are going to get squashed. Your fly sits nicely, it fishes nicely, you haven't got hair sticking out all over the place, so you can fish with confidence. So that is the turl knot, my favorite knot for fishing pretty well any fly that's gone up high or down high. On a single Instron test, this knot broke at 9.75 pounds, which equates to 92% of the tensile strength of the nylon it was tied in. Rio. Make the connection.